Welcome to our quick overview of the new SmartLink Network mobile app. The app has a whole new look and feel, as well as some new functionality, so we're excited to share it with you. When you first launch the app, you'll be presented with a standard login screen. You can use the same credentials you use on the SmartLink web app to log in here. Once you log in, the mobile app will use your phone's location to bring up relevant details about the site closest to your current physical location. This site overview gives you a quick snapshot of the local weather, your controller statuses, usage, and any currently active SmartLink alerts. If you happen to see an active alert, give it a tap for a more detailed explanation. You can also click the More Info button to get more information from our knowledge base. If you want to access a list of controllers at your current location, tap the View Controllers button at the bottom. Let's take a minute to look at this controllers list. You'll notice each controller has a set of icons, as well as a color swatch. The color swatch indicates the overall controller status. Red if faults are present, orange if the unit is in delay, blue if it is in a rain or freeze state, and green if everything is operating normally. In addition, there is a set of six icons. These icons give you an at-a-glance reference to several key controller indicators. These include signal strength, run or off status, smart or basic mode, sensor mode status, weather station status, and fault status. Tap on a controller to get a more detailed view of its status. From this view, we can also request to receive fresh data from the controller to perform some diagnostic actions, run zones or programs, modify the controller's programming, do a quick wet check, view the comm log, or view and perform inspections. For more details on these options, check out some of our other training materials on YouTube. Let's say that you are not in the field and you want to access a controller somewhere you're not physically located. That's easy too. Simply hit the menu icon at the top of the screen and you'll be presented with several other menu navigation options. Let's pick your sites. From here, we get a list of all the sites currently on our account. If we hit the search icon at the top right, we can easily filter down this list. For each site, you'll see its photo, if you have one set, as well as a list of controllers. If you want to edit the site settings, tap the gear icon. From here, we can set a new site photo, edit site users, and invite new users to the site, or set site alert preferences. You can also add a new controller to the site. If you tap any of the controllers listed on the site, you'll dive right back into the controller detail page that we viewed earlier. That's it for our quick overview. Hopefully this helps you get a basic orientation in the new app. For more details on each section, be sure to check out our other YouTube training materials. If you found this video to be useful, please take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This will keep you up to date with all the latest promotional and training materials that we produce here at Weathermatic.